So we know that modern art's bullshit. And yes, I know the definition of modern art that is used by hoity toity sh stupid artist types is different to what we use. But so we know how modern art is fucking stupid. Someone may have eaten some. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, the banana guy. Uh, yes. <laughs> Student eats artwork, artwork, artwork. Oh, for fuck's sake, CNN. It, you didn't even put artwork in quotes. Fucking Jesus. Uh, uh, when does CNN get the vice treatment? And the BuzzFeed treatment? And the Gawker treatment? I, I think it's happening. <laughs> and look at CNN Plus. <laughs> Fucking me, Dad. That died faster than a pug. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's Lord. still a personal point of pride that my channel outlives CNN Plus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, th I think I think Sultans has made more profit than CNN Plus. <laughs> yeah, we've got more viewers. <laughs> <laughs> that's unironically true. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, soon eats artwork of banana duct taped to a museum wall because he was hungry. Why the fuck is that in quotes? I mean... Who that, the fuck are they even quoting? That is what art's for. Our art is there to satisfy a need. His need was hunger. Y yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he left for that long. No, that's, that's actually really, that's really art. good. The, the, oh, that's art. That... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! This is oh this, this absolute mad lad. See, yeah. the best art in the world actually makes you feel something, and in this case, it made him feel full. <laughs> As Maureen says, so performance art. Yes, yes, there was more art in yes. that in, in that story than there is in the fucking other one. Now, now here's where it gets really fucking dumb. So, oh dear, some idiot made this. And then it was sold for $120,000 to transfer dirty money between criminal drug lords. And it says that after chomping down the fruit, the student take the peel back on the wall. The peel was later replaced by the museum with a fresh banana. How in the fuck is it art <laughs> that can be sold if the museum comes back later with a new banana and a new roll of duct tape? Spaces is fucking banana! Oh, fuck's sakes. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go out and thumbtack a cantaloupe to a wall and see what happens. <laughs> oh, my oh, Lord. God. This is just... Art has gone too far. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, speaking of which, I would like to recommend a video to everyone, from Lindy Bates, of course, entitled something along the lines of Modern Art Disgusts Me, which pretty much summarises my view on the most of it, but he doesn't talk about how it's clearly money laundering. Mm. Uh, Ca Callum actually asks a very good question. How long does the banana last till it turns rotten? Uh, uh, yes, yeah. as if like they're replacing week. art on a daily basis, it's not art. Yes, no. how the fuck can you sell it for $120,000 if you have to replace the banana and the type? Yeah, it's, uh, oof. I mean, it, it's I, I not going to be long before. It... Banana for the wall, and because it's permanent, that's worth at least double 120000 Well, that's it. At yep. least it doesn't rot and fall off the wall. But they must have literally replaced the fucking duct tape as well. It's Theseus's banana. <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> Firstly, this is not art. Secondly, it's not worth anything. And the artist and whoever bought it should be beaten and cast out of society. Yeah. In fact, they that's should be... That's a little too nice. Oh, no. Well, by cast out of society, we mean off a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, too I, nice. I, I was going to suggest th th throwing them overboard in the international waters. I but mean, hey. My, my oh, idea was uh, oh, oh, oh. A, a little more medieval, but I can't go into that on YouTube. Or Ooh, Trebuchets? Tre yeah, Trebuchets. 
<laughs> well, you know, there was a, a band called Iron Maiden once. <laughs> but that's yeah. got nothing to do with this, right? <laughs> no, no, no. It's 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 art. It's performance art. Yeah. <laughs> If you enjoyed this clip from the Songs of Chardelay podcast, please consider joining us live at 2pm London time every Saturday.